God is good. God is good. Let's open with a prayer. Come Holy Spirit. God, we thank you for this night. God, we thank you for the food we've had and the fellowship, Lord. Lord, I pray that you give all the hearers ears to hear what your spirit is saying through my testimony, Lord. I pray that you anoint the words that come out of my mouth, Lord. They be your words and not mine. Lord, we thank you. We love you. Let it rain. Let it rain. Hope in the floodgates of hell. Let it rain. Oh. All right. All right. All right, I'm going to just share some of my testimony, a short part of my testimony. <laughs> We're laughing. I'm, I'm saying you said, let it rain and the gator's are supposed to eat you. <laughs> All right, come on. Well, people want to watch it. <clears throat> it's got the Holy Ghost. It's got the Holy Ghost. Yeah, it's got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. All right, as a young child <laughs> started school my teachers informed my parents that I had hearing problems after I had some hearing tests done on my ears after that I started having a lot of doctor's appointments and surgeries on both of my ears at the age of 16 the doctors told my parents there was nothing more they could do to improve my hearing because my ears were fully developed at that time I read lips, and that was a way I understood what people were saying. I'm not educated. I did not know how to spell, text, or write, or make any sense of anything until recently. Like, that's a, that's a now thing that God's work, been working on me with. Praise the Lord, because I'd send people texts, y'all. They didn't know what I was saying. It was a bunch of run-on sentences. And, uh, praise the Lord. Um, God has done a miracle in my life in writing and texting and spelling, and I'm so thankful for that. At the age of five, I started being sexually abused, and that lasted up to the age of 12. I started smoking cigarettes at the age of seven, and I was fully addicted at a, at a young age. I, had a, I, was, I remember being at my grandmother's house, and my, uh, one of my uh, girl cousins, she had offered me a cigarette, and I saw the food. Around the age of 11 or 12, I started drinking alcohol, smoking weed, and taking pills. At the age of 17, I was injecting drugs into my veins, and I was a full-blown addict. I started smoking crack, and that was the, what I say, the drug that took my soul. Did things on that that I'd never done. Um, it took a lot to forgive myself for the things I did. I've overdosed on drugs several times. One time, I ended up in the hospital from a drug overdose. They sent me to a mental hospital because they thought I was trying to take my own life. And really, I wasn't. I was trying to die. And while I was in a mental hospital, my twin brother came to visit me. My twin brother was a pastor. He tried to tell me about Jesus Christ, and he gave me a pamphlet about Jesus. I got so mad, and I rejected Jesus Christ, and I started screaming at my brother. And I threw that pamphlet down on the ground, and I told my brother, I don't want your Jesus. What a fool I was to do that and behave that way. I've tried to take my own life several times with taking handfuls of pills, hoping to never wake up. I did not want to live anymore, and it did not make any sense to me to accept a life Jesus Christ was offering me when I hated life and wanted to die. But the truth is, I was never really living life until I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and received His Holy Spirit that now lives inside of me. And then His Holy Spirit brought life to my mortal body. Because before I received Jesus Christ, I was like a, uh, a, a walking dead person. I was dead in my sin, and I had no hope. I was breathing, but I wasn't alive. My oldest brother, Jay, had invited me to a revival at his church, and I decided to go. That night at the revival, I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and on October the 30th, 2011, I got baptized in water. Not long after I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I got baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire. Hallelujah. I got that fire. I hear my bones. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. 
I was at home by myself with God, and I began to speak in other tongues, and the Spirit gave utterance. In that moment, I felt the fire of God. I felt warmth, heat in my chest and belly. I felt the fire of God, like the power of God, like vibrations all throughout my body. It was like a mighty river flowing inside of my body. So the first time in my life, I felt the love of God, and I knew that love was real, and it only comes from God. This encounter and experience in God changed my life forever. And, and, and to this day, I continually, like every day I get baptized again, I get filled again with this fire. So I'm so thankful. It was a process that I went through, but God set me free from all the drugs and alcohol. He set me free from the cigarettes. God started changing me from the inside out. He took away the anger, the hate, lust, depression, pride, and a lot of other things. God took away the desire I had not to not want to live anymore. It was evil spirits placing them thoughts in my mind, telling me I hated life and I did not want to live. But thank God He delivered me from all of that. Uh, I became so in love with Jesus and with the Word of God. My spiritual eyes were and ears were open. I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. All things have become new and all things continue to become new. This is a day-to-day -day thing. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 18. This is the Passion Translation. Now, if anyone is enfolded into Christ, he has become an entirely new person. All that is related to the old order has vanished. But hope, everything is fresh and new. And God has made all things new and reconciled us to himself and given us the ministry of reconciling others to God. Hallelujah. I am a changed person. I am now in full-time ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I have traveled overseas to Honduras six or seven times for ministry. I've recently went to Cambodia and Paul on mission trips. God uses me in the area of healing, healing, inner healing, and deliverance. And he uses me in a lot of other ways, too. I go to outreaches in my area. I stay in worship and pray throughout the day and night. Holy Spirit continues to make me more like Jesus Christ. I love to tell others about the freedom I found in Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way, the only hope for mankind, and there, is, and there is no true life outside of Jesus. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. The devil comes to steal from you. He comes to destroy and kill you. But Jesus is offering you an abundant life while living here on this earth. Jesus is offering you everlasting life with him forever in a place called heaven where there will be no more pain, sorrow, or death. Jesus wants to free you of all your addictions and bondage. He wants to make you a new person that walks in love and peace. His Holy Spirit gives us love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Without receiving the Holy Spirit, we cannot have the fruit of the Spirit without the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God wants to fill you with all these good things that come from only Him. Jesus wants all of your heart for you to say yes to Jesus today. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. They were talking about the gifts and spirit last night at church. They were talking about that verse. Really? Start baptism? Hallelujah. All right, y'all. I just want to let me. I'm going to bless the people on the video. I'm going to pray. I want to pray for you. Jesus' name. Come, Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray that you have spoken to each person that will be hearing this message, Lord God. I pray, Father, that you just uh, produce all the fruit in their life, God. I just that they be fruit bearers in Jesus' name. Lord, just baptize them in your love and your Holy Ghost and fire in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you just speak to them in dreams and visions. Father, give them ears to hear what your spirit is saying in Jesus' name. Lord, I bless them in Jesus' name.